minutes. Yeah, I've got a feeling that this may not be the time when they do so, but we'll soon see. And Eddie Irvine in that second Ferrari in fifth position. So the Ferraris and the Williams are the obvious front runners. The McLarens of Mika Hakkinen and David Coulthard, despite the fact that Hakkinen is in sixth position on the grid, are not yet off for pay, are on the pace. Hakkinen was about eight tenths of a second off Damon Hill's time in uh, qualifying and the Jordans have done very well in qualifying this morning because Rubens Barrichello and Martin Brundle were third and fourth fastest and Barrichello is starting eighth on the grid and Martin Brundle ninth and it really does look as though now with his new engineer Andy Tilly Martin Brundle has overcome the problem that he's been having with the Jordan Peugeot all year, that of getting the car to suit his style and to adjust his style to suit the car. Will Damon Hill get there? Villeneuve is an excellent starter. And Michael Schumacher's got a problem with his Ferrari, so Schumacher's destined to start this race from the back of the field. That's not going to start. What a massive blow there for Michael Schumacher. The technician is still working on that car, and that leaves Damon Hill. There's Schumacher there, he's going to have to follow now the whole field, if indeed they can get the car started. A lot of consternation there. It's obvious, I can see the Magneti Morelli, Morelli technician working on the car, and this is, well, I hesitate to use the word disaster, but uh, it is terrible for Michael Schumacher. It's great news for Damon Hill and Jack Villeneuve, of course, because it means that uh, Schumacher has got to claw his way all through the field. He's getting away now. So Schumacher's going to be starting the race from very last on the grid, and this should at least enable us to see some fantastic driving. Let's look at the circuit as we go around now, into the first corner. We're likely to see some kind of minor incident there, that normally happens here. It's a very short run down to that first corner. It's second gear, third gear, fourth gear, up to 150 miles an hour into turn three. This is where Alessia and Berger lost control, about 70 miles an hour through that. Now we cut to the point two thirds of the way around the circuit. This is corner 10. This is the hairpin where Mika Hakkinen attacked Johnny Herbert last year. The Benetton and Jean Alessi there weaving to get the all-important tyre temperature up. Damon Hill out in front. This is going to be a big, big relief to Hill and Villeneuve. Although, having said that, Schumacher has started so poorly this year so far that uh, they probably didn't think there was a great chance of him coming by. But, of course, you can never discount it. Now, in terms of people to look for on the start, Jean Alessi will be having a really good look to see if he can get by Villeneuve or Hill. They both start very well. On the league table of making up places, David Coulthard is still out in front with some two to three places each start he makes, whilst Mika Hakkinen actually is at the bottom of the league table. He tends to lose a couple of places. So Hakkinen's in sixth, so let's watch the start, watch for a good one from Alessi, a good one potentially from Berger as well. But uh, all important thing is keeping it clean into that first corner run because now it looks very much like it's the fight between the two Williams cars. But I predict that we are going to see some quite incredible driving from the fired up Michael Schumacher because two years ago Schumacher started the Belgian Grand Prix from 16th on the grid and he won the race. He's starting from 22nd on the grid today. Eddie Irvine on the right now. On the right is Damon Hill. Behind him, with a clear track in front of him as he sits in the Scarlet Ferrari, is Eddie Irvine. Schumacher, who's coming into position last on the grid, had an electronic problem yesterday. Second on the on the left, second on the grid is Jacques Villeneuve, and behind. Villeneuve is Jean Alessi, another demon starter. He's got a, a, a situation now which will help him. Watch for the lights going out. And Damon Hill slots in front of Jack Villeneuve, who tries to go round the outside. Is he on the inside of the corner? And there's, there's been a change, I do believe. No, it's still Damon Hill leading. And Jack Villeneuve, who tried to slot it tight. Alessi is third, fourth is Eddie Irvine. So it's Williams, Williams, Benetton, Ferrari. Then tucked up behind the Ferrari of Eddie Irvine is the red and white McLaren, and that's Mika Hakkinen. Then it's Gerhard Berger. 
One of the Jordans is well up, so that'll be Rubens Barrichello ahead of his teammate, or is it Martin Brundle? No, it's Martin Brundle who's gone ahead of his teammate, Rubens Barrichello. Terrific start, and Schumacher is fairly scything his way through the field already. Look at him on the left as they come down to the hairpin. But Hill has got a, a substantial lead on lap one. Hill, Villeneuve, Alessi, Irvine, Hakkinen, Berger, Gerhard Berger, and look for the, the Ferrari of, well, you just saw a flash of Michael Schumacher. But this is giving Damon Hill a wonderful chance because he's got a clear track in front of him. Jack Villeneuve has got a lacy in his wheel tracks, but Damon Hill is building up the gap. Irvine is still in fourth position. And look down the grid, look for, look for Schumacher as Hill goes through. There is Coulthard, there is Verstappen, behind Verstappen is Johnny Herbert, and there, behind one of the Minardis, is Michael Schumacher, and it's Fissi Keller that he's got in front of him. So Schumacher is 17th, he started 22nd. He's gone past 21, 20, 19, 18. Ahead of him is Fissi Keller, and wham, we're straight past the Minardi with Michael Schumacher. Now, Hill's first lap time was 1 minute 29.49, and Michael Schumacher, obviously much longer, he's in amongst the traffic, 1 minute 40, and there. Now, here we are, look for Schumacher. And who is that pulling it? In the shadows, it's Irvine. It's, it's Eddie Irvine. Eddie Irvine, it's an engine problem. I'm smoke coming from the back of the Ferrari. And, and that is Eddie, well, a dreadful race already for Ferrari. Michael Schumacher starts from the back. Eddie Irvine stops, gets it going again. Some kind of electrical problem, perhaps. But at the end of the first lap, Damon Hill led Jack Villeneuve by over two seconds. There's Villeneuve, second, and Lacey, third. Hakkinen, fourth. Berger, fifth. Ma then Brundle, Martin Brundle. Down to the left hand at turn one. Keep swinging right, turn two. And Michael Schumacher has gained another two places. He's 12.6 seconds behind Damon Hill. Fastest on the track is Hill, 1 minute 24.69. There is no point in making comparisons with last year's lap times or race times because of the difference of the circuit. And that is Mika Hakkinen, and now here is Eddie Irvine coming into the pits and effectively finishing his race. He's last now, having stopped already, and this is going to be the first retirement of the Canadian Grand Prix. Indeed, I do believe he was just driving into the garage. He's gone straight into the garage. Hill leads, looking for 10 more World Championship points. And he said this morning, after the warm-up, the car is absolutely superb. It's been better this morning than it was yesterday, better than it was on Friday. I feel very happy about the setup. And I, it's uh, Jacques Villeneuve's first Grand Prix race here at uh, Montreal. So, Hakkinen, Berger. Well, clearly a dreadful start for Ferrari there with Schumacher having his engine problem and, and, and uh, Irvine a problem presumably with the engine that's putting him out. Maybe they were related. We'll perhaps hear some more news from Tony Jardine. But this is just the kind of start that Damon Hill really wanted to have. He's got away cleanly. He's pulling away more to the point from Jacques Villeneuve.